why it's leaking. It's leaking like a m We have a situation in the bus. Oh my goodness. Our sink is leaking at the handle for some reason. Like, I don't know if it's just a failure in the sink or what. Our drain pipe was temporarily disconnected at the point when this whatever weird leak just happened. Just out of the blue. Man. You know what? We had a really hard freeze last night. Yeah. I wonder if that could have caused the problem somehow. Well, it looks like we'll be getting a new faucet, ladies and gentlemen. So much for the stupendous sale we found that one for. And we're going to have to winterize if we don't have the heat on out here. Yeah. Well, we learned something, that's for sure. The hard way. Yeah. The hard freeze way. Yeah. Well, you'll like it when we start assembling these things. It's a cute little one. Okay, so now we take these, and this is the more difficult. thing for Craig for doing pocket holes on frames like this. Of all the things Craig pocket holes are good at, this is the best one. Because now we've got this just seamless thing here. We'll sand this, but it's seamless and beautiful. So I love it. The pocket screws like tighten all the joint right up. that and another beautifully perfect joint right here now we take ooh this is uh didn't think about that part because i didn't do the kind of forgot things that far i'm only gonna get it in here now you have to unscrew it mm -hmm. Okay, mental note. Mental note, good thing to remember for the next one. Yeah. <laughs> Put in the middle when it's still the shape of an L and glue the L out of it. How big is your love? Tell me how high is your patience? Oh, I be saved. I wanna catch the way. Tell me, what is the use? Tell me. 
go. Excellent! What a cute little cupboard door. There's our first cabinet door. It's so cute. Jeez, what is that noise? Can we just shut off the water down here with our little turning off knob thingy? Don't we have a turning yes, off we knob? Yes, we do. Okay, it's turning off. <laughs> All right, there it is. That's one. One down. We don't want to know how many to go. Off with his head. There we go. Let's have a look see. It's deep. Beautiful. Oh look! Oh, it's like a real kitchen. It is a real kitchen. It looks so cute. It looks so good. Wow, how exciting. Isn't that something? Yeah, I'm super excited. Okay, so on this side here, I guess we need to decide where that's going to go. You want one right here? I think like I right would there. measure the drawer. 18 and an eighth from the wall. And then see how much is left. 29 and 3 sixteenths total. 29 divided by 2. Oh, and that's only 18. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to look good. That's going to mm -hmm. look right. Totally. Yeah, yeah, do that. So I'm sure some of you must be wondering why we have this ridiculous bathroom sink on our kitchen countertop. So I will explain. The truth is I have been harboring this sink in my garage for untold years. Like, I'm not even sure how long I've had it. I salvaged it somewhere, I don't even remember, because I love the color of this vintage turquoise awesome freaking sink. And I've kept it all these years, waiting for the perfect project to either build it into my bathroom or create a pedestal sink for it. So when we got this bus, I was so excited that I would finally have a place to put my beautiful blue bathroom sink. And then I found out that people don't usually put a bathroom sink in a schoolie. It's just extra space. It's all that extra plumbing. It's another place that leaks and things could go wrong, like what happened for us today. So I was devastated at first that I wouldn't be able to bring this beautiful baby with me. But then I had the brilliant realization that if I couldn't bring the sink with me, at least I could bring the color. So one day while I was at the hardware store, I started picking these, you know, paint chip, trying to match the color just out of my memory. But the color that is almost exactly right on is this one right here, which is called, I think it's Port Hope. Yes, Port Hope. That's why all these paint chips have been taped up here as I'm trying to decide what colors I do and don't like for my kitchen cabinets. But they're going to end up the color of my beloved sink, Port Hope, in our kitchen. Looks like another one's coming right along. 
Sure is. Shit. Ta-da! Excellent. Let's go look. Let's do. There it is. First cupboard right on the driver's side. Yep. They are so cute. Why do they look so cute to me? Wait until the Magisterium hears about this oh, yeah. making dust in your workshop. <laughs> what do you know about dust? <laughs> Quite a bit, actually. It's time to operate. The assemblage table. That's where the magic happens. <laughs> so, I do this a little bit differently now. So I can still slide that thing in and it still works. Oh, good. I'll show you. Okay, I'm going to do this one here. Oh, are you putting it in from the side now? Yes. Oh. There's a method to your madness. Yes. It's the madness method. <laughs> I understand madness. You speak in my language. Mm -hmm. I said, do you speak my language? <laughs> she just smiled and gave me a Vitamix sandwich. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Lovely. These joints are so good. Makes me happy. All good. right. Now, these should just slide in there. Ta-da. Lovely. I've always wanted to make these. Like, I've seen a million videos on how to do this. This is truly the first time I've ever made cabinet faces. Really? But it's very, like once you understand it, it's really easy. Like, and you have the right tools, obviously, which I preach all the time in these videos. How important it is just, if you really want this to be a smoother build, get the right tools for yourself, spend the extra money, you won't regret it. You know, it might hurt a little bit up front, but man, it sure makes a difference at moments like this when you're trying to finish in your lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong one. <laughs> I totally picked that up to draw away. I saw that. And I caught it on film. Yeah, did you catch these on film? Right, sucker? Nice. Up higher on your side. Oh. There you go. There they are. Looks good. Looks so good. All right. Measuring for the bottom cupboards now. With a little help from Mama Sita. Who's the bus driver? What's up, Mama Kitty? Who's driving this bus? You checking it out? Oh, Mama, you found a spot, huh? For a little cat nap in the sun. Come on, Baba. You want to come out? You don't have to. She's taking in. You like this seat, though, huh? Super easy peasy, huh? Pretty much. I mean, there's a lot of steps in each one, but they come together quickly. Yeah. <sighs> the first of the bottom dwellers. Perfect. All right, what's next? These two? I suppose. Lovely. Oh, we have to cut the board for our up above there too, don't we? Yep. Sure do look good though. They sure do. All right. Is that a double or a single? I don't know. I think it's too wide to be a single. I'm sure you'd rather do a single, though. It's not really satisfying about that, you know? Sliding it in and having it fit just perfectly? Yeah. Definitely, definitely ordering the hinges tonight because we'll have this stuff done so fast the next time we work on it. It's pretty cool. 
we're almost we're almost done with the cabinets. Man, I love it when it comes together like that. It's not bad. It's not bad. No, it's a fat cupboard, but mm -hmm. it's not totally out of control. Yeah. See how far it comes out into the walk space when it's open. Yeah, you can still walk around it. Mm -hmm. Wait, do that again. Yeah, there's still plenty of room to walk around it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is the last drawer face for in the, I mean, cupboard, drawer, whatever face for in the kitchen. 14 and 3 sixteenths minus an 8. That's 14 and 1 sixteenth. 14 and 1 sixteenth, let's do it. It's pretty spectacular you're getting this hammered out in one day. Yeah, I'm surprising me how fast this went, but again, it's it's the tools. Anyway. Yeah, so it'll be a drawer face and they'll be connected here. A piece of plywood or something and we'll connect it so it'll look all like one thing here. Pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty good. Very good. Alright. Oh we got these to do. Oh yeah. What do we got for these? Goose. Help me out here. A, a top one and a bottom one. So it stops right here? Yeah. Okay. How big is your love? Tell me how high is your patience? Can I be said? So cute. Thank you, Kevin K. Wait, there's more. I'm so getting this part open. Oh, that's so cool. He got us a cool clock. I love it. Thank you, Kevin. This was the most thoughtful gift. Oh, it's really set, like, cool. Their to time. London time. <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. Let's keep it that's on that. Silly. That's awesome. Thank you, Kevin. That is so cool. How big is your love? Tell me how high is your patience? Say, I wanna catch the wave.